I'm Wesley Morris, and it's the end of the year, and I have been compiling, as many people often do, who write about particular mediums and art forms, uh, lists of what we saw that we liked this year. I think it was a pretty good year for movies, uh, particularly American ones. There was one in particular that very few people saw that meant a lot to me. It was called Mother and Child, and it basically is the story of three women who are different stages of their relationships to their mothers or children. It's that you move to and from this area several times, but you always return here. This part of the world is as good as any. It's mostly single people in the building, you know, no children. So far, we could be good parents. We just haven't been able to. Blood is important, but it's the time spent together that really matters. Time spent together? Why didn't you shut me up? Paco. Apparently. I have some time before I have to be home. I'm getting a cup of coffee. Do you mind if I join you? All right. I didn't realize it was just the two of us. I hope you don't think it's inappropriate. <laughs> I want to meet your parents and your friends. And I want to be... Uh, Annette Bening plays a woman who had a child that she was forced to give up for adoption, uh, who turns out to be Naomi Watts, who is not interested in having children. And then on the other side of the movie, uh, Carrie Washington plays a woman trying to adopt a baby. This is just as good, I think, as, as dramatic direction gets in terms of telling a fairly cliched story in ways that seem completely new. For the last couple of years, I've been watching movies in which characters at different areas of, in different areas of a movie wander throughout the film, running into each other, having some kind of relationship to each other. And as an audience, you're sort of forced to try to figure out whether or not that feels hokey. And in this case, it does not. I think that the acting in this movie is really beautiful. Uh, Annette Bening, who most people are talking about in a, in a different film about motherhood and, 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 and child rearing called The Kids Are All Right, is just as good in this film as she is in the other. Uh, and Naomi Watts is, is really good as well. I mean, all the acting from, from the top of the marquee down to the, the bottom, where Sharika Epps basically plays a woman uh, interviewing Kerry Washington to have her baby, is, is really good. And it's hard to stress enough how good direction can make a film when nothing really seems to happen. This wasn't Inception, this wasn't Shutter Island, this wasn't The Social Network. Um, in some ways, it's not even the fighter that has uh, boxing in the ring and in the house to sort of keep it together um, from a physical standpoint. This is a purely emotional movie, and it stuck with me.